everyone, I'm Pam Powell, the town clerk. Uh, welcome to the 2014 Citizens Caucus of Bolton. Uh, one quick housekeeping um, thing I'd like to mention before we um, get started is, um, for those of you, all of you are nominated tonight, we need you to sign the um, nomination form and then the three green um, fin uh, campaign finance forms. Most likely, most of you will not be having a, will not be um, doing a campaign. So I'll just sign those for us. If you do end up, if there's going to be a con contested race and you've got campaign finance, um, I'll speak to you afterwards. Okay, so the first order of business is to um, ask for nomination for the moderator of the caucus. That means just this evening. I would nominate Jim Anker, please. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay. <laughs> Turn it over to Jim. Thank you, Pam, and thank all of you. Uh, you may have noticed Pam had foot surgery three weeks ago, I think. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Today is her first day back at work, and she made it a point to be here at caucus tonight. So, <laughs> uh, and thanks for your resounding vote for caucus moderator. <laughs> the uh, next order of business we need to take care of is to elect a caucus secretary, someone to record what we do here tonight. So I will take nominations for caucus secretary. I have Susan Miles. Second. Susan Miles has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Susan, say aye. 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 Any opposed, no? Any other nominations? Mm -hmm. All right, Can Susan. <coughs> So as Pam said, welcome to our 2014 Bolton Town Caucus. We are uh, one of the very few towns in the Commonwealth that still actually gets together in person and nominates people for elected office uh, in real, real people in real time. Most of them do it by uh, petitions, by signing papers, and going out to the dump and getting people to sign them and turn it into the town So we're one of the few who still does it this way. Good for us. Uh, what we're going to do tonight is nominate candidates for our May 12th town election. Uh, every seat has a list of the offices that are open. If you didn't get one, there are some, uh, there are some floating around here. Uh, you can raise your hand, we can get you one. Uh, probably everybody, or certainly most of you here tonight, and maybe those watching have been through this before, but it's pretty simple and straightforward. I will go down this list of positions and the term uh, for each office. I'll ask for a voice nomination. You just call out, I nominate so-and-so. Someone needs to second that, and then we vote it just like we did for the uh, for me and for Susan so far this evening. We can have up to two candidates per position nominated. If we get more than two candidates nominated for a position, then we will have a runoff right here tonight, so that we end up with only two candidates uh, for any one position. There is another way to get on the ballot if someone is not nominated tonight who wishes to be. And that can be done by petition, which uh, can be gotten from the town clerk's office. And I believe that needs 20 signatures. Yes. Right? Okay. 20 signatures of uh, Bolton uh, voters. And that is due by this Thursday? Okay. By 5 p.m. this Thursday, anyone who wants to uh, get on the ballot by petition, get those 20 signatures, because I need to get more than 20 just in case, and get that to the town clerk's office by 5 o'clock this Thursday, March 13th. Any questions before we get going? Okay. One of the folks here tonight when we were talking asked if there were a quorum for the caucus, and I had never thought about that. Yes, uh, good question. There is. It's 25, mm -hmm. and we are somewhere around 30, I think, tonight. So we, we do have, there is a quorum point, and uh, we, we can't start without the quorum, as with any of So and we do have that tonight. Any other questions? All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first office up for election, town moderator, one year term. I'm the incumbent. Uh, I'll take a moment to just say that uh, for the last 11 years, I've been honored to serve as a Bolton town moderator. Uh, Susan and I are gonna be leaving Bolton sometime in the next year, God knows. So I am not seeking re-election, not seeking the nomination for re-election to that position. So let's give someone else a chance to run for town moderator, and I'll accept a nomination for town moderator. Richard Fly. Second. 
Richard Fly has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Richard, say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Any other nominations for town moderator? If not, I will close that nomination with Richard as our nominee. And move to town clerk. Another one year term. Pam Powell is our incumbent. Do we have nominations for town clerk? Pam has been nominated and seconded. All those in favor of Pam Powell as our uh, town clerk nominee, say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. And any other nominations for town clerk? If not, I will close that one with Pam as our nominee. Uh, the next position is a three-year term on the Board of Selectmen. Stan Wasaki is our incumbent. We have nominations for Board of Selectmen. Stan Wasaki. Second. Okay, Stan has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Stan, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Do we have other nominations for Board of Selectmen? If not, I'll close that one with Stan as our nominee. Next uh, position is a three-year term on the Board of Health. Chris Rogers is our incumbent. We have nominations for Board of Health. Christopher Rogers, second. second. Chris Rogers has been nominated and seconded. All those in favor of Chris Rogers, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any other nominations for Board of Health? If not, I'll close that one with Chris Rogers as our nominee. Board of Assessors, three-year term. Charlotte Johnson Zebco is our uh, incumbent. Do we have nominations for Board of Assessors? I nominate Charlotte Johnson Zebco. Second. Uh, Charlotte has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Charlotte, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any other nomination for Board of Assessors? All right, if not, I will close that one. Cemetery Committee, three-year term. David Jaspa is our incumbent. Do we have nominations for Cemetery Committee? David Jaspa is the Cemetery Committee. Second. Second. Okay, David has been uh, nominated and seconded. All in favor of David for that position, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any other nominations for Cemetery Committee? All right, if not, I will close that one. David Jasper is our nominee. Next we have uh, constables. How many constables are over? Just one. Just one. Just one for a two-year term. All right, we have one constable position open for a two-year term. Uh, and it's open, as in no one there on the list anyway. Do we have nominations for constable? I nominate Sean Collins. Second. Sean Collins has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Sean, please say aye. 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 Do we have any other nominations for constable? If not, I will close that with Sean, Col Sean Collins as our nominee. Uh, next, we have a three-year term on the library board, uh, position of library trustee. Pam Zikansky is our incumbent. We have nominations for library trustees. I nominate Pamela as second. Second. Pam has been nominated and seconded. All in favor of uh, Pam Zikansky as our library trustee nominee, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any other nominations for library trustees? If not, I will close that with Pam Zikansky as our trustee nominee. Neshoba Regional School District Committee, a two-year term. Lorraine Ramosco is our incumbent. Do we have nominations for the school committee? Nominate Lorraine Ramosco. Seconded. Lorraine has been nominated and seconded. All those in favor of Lorraine, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. 
Any other nominations for our school committee? If not, I'll close that with Lorraine as our school committee nominee. Uh, we have three separate parks and recreation nominations here. Two three-year terms and a two-year term. So we're going to start with the one of the three-year terms. Karen Reagan is the incumbent. Do we have nominations for a park and rec? I nominate Steve Schneider. Second. Second. Oh, wait, was there a second to the Steve Snyder? No. Oh, I'll second. second. I'll second. There was a second. Can I just say something? Karen is going to take the uh, two year term. That's why she's not on this one. So. She is on this one. She, she is. is. On Karen Reagan is, I'm going to nominate her for the two year oh. term, the okay. third one down. And that's why I'm not nominating her. For the three-year yeah. okay. That helps. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm gonna, so I'm just gonna back up. Okay. We're, we're gonna do over again. Okay. So it's like rewind to where we were. We have three positions open on Park and Rec. <laughs> two three-year and one two-year. So we'll start with one of the three-year. Uh, on the list here, Karen Reagan is our incumbent on that. Do we have a nomination for one of the three-year terms on Park and Rec? I nominate Steve Schneider. Steve Schneider. Steve has been nominated and seconded. All those in favor of Steve Schneider, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Like <laughs> 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 it's not over yet. <laughs> All right, we're still on the first three-year park and rec position. Are there any other nominations on that first three-year park and rec position? All right, I'll close that one with Steve Schneider as our nominee. Okay, we're now on our second three-year position on parks and rec. Uh, Tom Wildman is our, not, is our incumbent. Do we have nominations for that second three-year term? I nominate Karen Taransky. Second. Karen T U R Thank you. O W S K I. Spell it again. T U R O W S K I. I think that's how you spell it. She's not a registered voter. Nothing even close to that. Yes, I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the uh, introductory remarks, but anyone being nominated or making a nomination needs to be a registered voter in Bolton. And apparently Karen's not on our roll of voters. Roll we'll one. Work on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get replaced. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're back to the second three-year term on Park and Rec, do we have a nomination for that? Authority. 
Housing Authority. Five years later. <laughs> By the way, the person, the person does not need to be here. So, be so think about that for just a moment. The person who, who is nominated does not need to be here. They just need to be a registered voter in Baltimore. Start with Can we just start with the A's on the... Uh, <laughs> you can read, read through it until we pick something. Right. All right, so really think. They, they don't need to be here tonight. Really, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then. Housing Authority, five year term. We have another open spot there. <coughs> so I will close that one, regretfully, with the, uh, another question mark. Uh, planning Board. We have two openings on the Planning Board a five-year and a one-year. So we're going to start with the five-year term. Doug Story is our incumbent. We have nominations for that five-year slot on planning board. I nominate Derek Nyland. Second. Derek Nyland has been nominated and seconded for the uh, five-year slot on planning board. All in favor of Eric, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Okay. Any other nominations for the five-year slot? If not, I'll close that with Eric Nylon as our nominee. And lastly, we have a one-year position on the planning board. Do we have nominations for that one-year spot on the planning board? I nominate John Ritchie, R-I-C-C-I. Second. John Ritchie has been nominated and seconded. All those in favor of John Ritchie as our nominee on the one-year term of the planning board, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Any other nominations for that one-year slot on the planning board? If not, I will close that one. And I'll give everybody another chance here. For the three-year slot on Park and Rec, have you thought of anyone who's not here? Who you want to know? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Watch the TV show. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like a comedy. You just live in a comedy. It is like that or not? It's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. <laughs> who knew? I mean, it's such a good thing. So really, no, one, no names for Park and Rec? The nominating committee is going to have to scrap it up somewhere for that. Chris is shaking his head. Not in And uh, I'll give you another shot at housing authority, the five year term. Again, really, the person doesn't have to be here. No takers. Okay, so we have uh, nominees for every, every slot on our. Uh, on our list here, except for the three-year park and rec and the five-year housing authority, which perhaps will be filled by a petition, and we'll find out by Thursday. Otherwise, we'll come back to that. Actually, we'll come back to it right now. Uh, Chris? I make a motion that this body appoint a nominating committee of the town clerk, the moderator, and Chairman of the Board of Select for the purpose of nominating, seeking and nominating candidates for any unfilled positions. Second. Okay, Chris has made the, uh, the motion to create a nominating committee as he just described, that's been seconded. All those in favor of creating this nominating committee to fill these vacancies, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. All right, so we have a nominating committee to deal with this other stuff. Um, any questions about what we have just done? No? We haven't dissolved it. We still go back to those two positions. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Junta just left. So. <laughs> 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 Mark Junta just left. We don't need to <laughs> 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 
tough to beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under all three categories. Yeah, Marcus, <laughs> Marcus served his time. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, as, as Pam said earlier, all of the, uh, everyone who was nominated tonight needs to fill out the papers that Susan has in front of her here. And I'm sure Susan uh, and Pam will walk you through what needs to be done. Uh, I'll remind you that uh, our town meeting is May 5th, which is coming up not very long. And uh, I'm sure all of you will be there and uh, bring all of your friends, Bolton residents, registered voters, to the town meeting on May 5th. So I would take a motion if there are no further questions or comments from anybody about it. I take a motion to dissolve our 2014 town caucus. So Second. Okay. All in favor of dissolving our caucus, please say aye. 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 All right. Thank you all for participating in this great piece of democracy. <laughs> <laughs>